Hi, my name is Marion Kalmer and I'm a farmer from Western Illinois. Back in 1985, I started doing independent on-farm research. We're in my fertility plots here today. Everything runs the length of the field. We're using real farm machinery and then we use multiple replications. Uh, currently this year, we're in an extreme drought. Um, we've had three tenths of an inch of rain since the uh, last part of April. I planted most all my corn um, early to mid April and uh, we're now entering our 10th week uh, without any significant rain. But the upside to this is that it's amplifying some of the differences that I make uh, for management decisions on the placement of phosphorus and potassium. So I have three scenarios that I wanna show you today. This particular plot right here, we've applied no phosphorus or potassium for about the last 15 years. And obviously you can see here, uh, we're seeing a lot of yellow leaves and it's yellow from the outside in, which is potassium. Um, if it's yellow down the middle, that's nitrogen. But we can also start to see um, some of the uh, phosphorus uh, deficiencies, which are purple um, on the leaf as well. So uh, the corn's about waist high here, uh, but uh, really struggling, really sunny. So we'll shut down, we'll move to the next plot. So now we're standing in one of my high fertility, high yield plots. Uh, so we've put on about $1,100 of uh, phosphorus potassium in the last 15 years. And uh, it's been surface applied and then we just left it there. And my feeling is that phosphorus potassium spread on the surface stays on the surface, which creates stratification. And uh, we'll put this up on the screen so that you can see it, but it, it's kind of a funnel effect. And, and so when you take a soil test, you chop it up into one inch increments and then you send off uh, inch by inch off, off to the lab. And so I have in this particular plot here, I've already soil tested it. I know that in the top two inches, I have about 45% of all the nutrients that are available in that eight inch profile, uh, cause they just haven't moved. And then over, uh, you know, I've been no-tilling for 30 years, but over the last 15 years in this plot, uh, the roots just keep sucking the nutrients out of that root zone from two down to eight and it's depleted. So I've got very high levels in the top two inches, nothing for the root zone, and we've got to have some moisture to pull it out. But we're still seeing this corn's a little taller, uh, but we're just now starting to see uh, some of the lower leaves are, are starting to express what I would call the, the potassium deficiencies uh, as well. So, uh, all right, let's shut down. We'll move over to the uh, one where we've incorporated the fertilizers. So uh, we're in another one of our uh, high fertility, high yield plots. So everything is the same as the plot that you just saw. The only difference is that in 2020, uh, we came in here and moldboard plowed this because we knew we had stratification and we mixed with tillage uh, those nutrients. And then last fall, we put the fertilizer on and then we chisel plowed out here and then leveled it off. And then we just left it alone. And we planted over the top um, out here. So in this particular plot, everything else is the same. The only difference is we have incorporated the nutrients with tillage. You can see how much taller the corn is. We're seeing uh, nice green leaves. Um, we're seeing good growth, even though we haven't had any rain. Last year when we did this study, of course, this field had soybeans on it. And the difference between where we had incorporated the P and the K versus where we had left it on top, there was a nine bushel advantage to de-stratification or incorporating those nutrients into the soil profile. So I'm gonna make some changes because of this uh, for next year. And uh, we're going to run a soil warrior this fall and uh, we're gonna prepare a, a, a zone that's like 10 inches by 10 inches by maybe 12 inches deep. We're gonna till it up. We're gonna mix some nutrients in there so that they're in the root zone where the moisture is at um, so that we can grow even a better crop. Um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to give me a holler uh, on my cell phone, 309-368-1182. Uh, we're just a, a week before the 4th of July here, and you can see this this corn's um, getting ready to, to tassel next week, which is the earliest I think I've ever seen it. Um, this is full season of corn here. And, uh, or if you've got any combine questions and you're getting ready to start harvesting wheat, uh, feel free to give me a holler. And last but not least, um, 
if you want to turn your corn stalks into confetti, uh, we uh, sell the BT chopper, which does a wonderful job. And uh, you can call my uh, front office at 309 629 9000. You can always go to our website uh, where we have lots of YouTube videos, agronomic information as well. But uh, with that, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you're getting some rain. Have a great day.